Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some run plays for you today. I haven't done a run formation video in a while. I uh, also been doing mostly gameplays. I haven't really done a lot of practice mode videos, a lot of money play videos in a while either. So if you want to see more like this, make sure you let me know in the comment section of the like button. The run plays that I'm going to show you today, the formation I'm going to show you today is out of the strong wing. If you were watching my gameplays last week, uh, I was doing a lot of of uh draft champions and i did a couple videos uh the offense that i was using was the jets offense i picked them because of the jets defense is my favorite defense there's really three main plays um i would say the counter is one of my favorite the uh the zone week's okay but the halfback toss is definitely one of my favorite in the fullback dive those are the three main plays so like i said the explosive plays are gonna be the counter toss but the fullback dive is definitely a play that you can run um, consistently definitely for one to keep your opponent uh, honest and number two I mean they haven't been there aren't really a lot of fullback dives in the game anymore I mean EA I don't want to say they've gotten rid of them but I think a couple years back they were super cheesy and there's not a lot of fullbacks in the league anymore anyway so I feel like ultimately um, you know there's just they just kind of made a lot of those disappear so as far as these other plays go I mean if you're really trying to hit a, a big play which is going to be 90% of what you're trying to do the counter weak or the toss is going to be the way to go and the counter weak to me that's probably my favorite because that's going to be the one that people aren't expecting you're going to see your user linebacker pretty much uh, either shooting across the field trying to get to the three tight end side or you're going to see them starting off over there because that's typically where people think the ball is going to go but you can see the counter play number one like i said the user's not going to be expecting it as much as as, as the toss and number two it's a really good play i mean if you can see i mean it's really just a single replay you can see right there all i really am doing and i'll have to go to the replay so i can slow down and talk about it but you can see it's a single read you're just reading the defensive end and then you can see how explosive this play can be let's go and let's go to the replay quick i think the counter play is one of the most underused plays this year because people really don't they either struggle with it or they don't know how to read it it's really simple right here like i said anytime i see a gap between these guys between this defensive tackle and this defensive end that's typically the play that i want to call and as far as how i'm going to read that play once the play starts all i really need to do i mean i don't know what happened there he kind of he kind of warped, the defensive tackle warped and closed that gap i don't know what just happened but um but all you need to do is read this defensive end it's real simple if he gets outside like right here he's crashing outside to the point where if i stretch this run play out i'm gonna get tackled and i think like i said that's that's what a lot of people have trouble reading they can't read counters they don't know what they're supposed to be looking for if i just try to take this run outside right now he's got outside leverage he's gonna stack and shed he's gonna tackle me for about a five yard loss so i think that's why people stay away from counter plays so since i know he's outside and he's he's shooting in there's two types of animations you'll get with a defensive end. You'll get him shooting in like he is now, or you'll get him standing there, hesitating like he's reading he's like he's reading the run. So right now he's got the aggressive look. So since he has that aggressive look, I know I have to go inside across my uh, my blocker's back, and that's exactly what I do. I, I I show some patience, treat it like an inside run, basically go across his back and look at the space. Like you know what I mean? Like look at how wide open this field is. I have a lead blocker. I mean my my fullback who's you know he's not an actual fullback, but <laughs> he's gonna do the job. I just have to basically follow him to daylight let him pick this guy up and i'm sprinting for a touchdown i'll try to run the counter again so i can get that other look like i said there is two looks there's one where right there once again you can see i mean this is like an instant replay <laughs> you know what i mean it's the exact same look he's aggressive he's crashing in i'm going to try to get the look where he's not aggressive um, I don't necessarily have control over that, but like I said, there are looks like right there. You see how the defensive, st defensive end just stood up? Now I'm going to go to the replay once again for people that didn't see it. This is the other animation. Like I said, there's only two types of animations you're going to get, and it's a simple single read look. You can read this animation and know exactly where you're supposed to go. This is the second one where, like I said, he hesitates. He stands up. He's not aggressive. He steps back. He's watching. He's reading the play. This is the look when you have to go outside because, number one, he has no, he has no momentum. He has no no acceleration so even if he doesn't get blocked you have all the acceleration because you're in your you're in your brakes but the point is he's going to get blocked anyway so it's not it's not even something to think about all you're doing in this entire play other than watching the user obviously because the user can mess things up but all you're doing is watching that defensive end nothing else matters that defensive end steps back stands there you got your blockers coming like a freight train they're just going to roll his ass over you just basically you know they're going to envelop him and you just take it outside it's that simple if he crashes down you take it inside it's that simple but that's what you're looking for that huge gap right there 
between the tackle and the defensive end, that's huge. That's that's a great size gap. I mean, you can run it with smaller gaps, but whenever you see that, I'm, I'm going to go right for that. And you can see right there, the way that this particular play stacked up, my, my full back didn't get to the safety like he does sometimes, but you can see, I mean, the, the hole was still massive. So here we go once again. This is a scenario. Um, I mean, this is a scenario if I want to, I can run that toss to the short side. You can see how they're stacking to the, to the strong side. If I want, I can go ahead and I can do that. I can make my motions. There's a lot of different things you can do um, to make this play go a couple different ways. Sometimes we do this though, the full the fullback will get in the way. You can see right there it didn't happen. I think Madden went out of their way to patch that. Sometimes you can flip that and the fullback will actually block the ball. So I don't recommend doing that a ton. But you can definitely uh, you can definitely do that if they're overstacking to one side. And like I said once again, it's hard to ignore that huge gap. I'm gonna take that pretty much all the time. There he hesitated, but I still read the block was best to take it inside. So you can see that that sometimes there's exceptions to that rule. But like I said, to me, without a doubt, that's the best play. Now, here you can see they're stacked to the left side. So obviously, I want to go to the toss side. So I can make, without making really any adjustments to this play, no motions, uh, no nothing. I don't really have to do any motions to make this play successful. I can run a toss just like this. Now, on a play like this, and, and with the counterplay, if you want to, you can motion in Allen on the counterplay to give yourself an extra blocker. I don't necessarily do on the counterplay. But if I see something like this, I'm going toss side, I'll, I'll fake motion this guy in just to give my user something to look at and make, make him hesitate. So this is a perfect scenario. If it's a toss, I'll typically motion in Allen, just let the just let the user chase that. And then like I said here, to me, the toss play is not the best play. You can see it got shut down. But ultimately, the toss is a good play. But to me, the counterplay is definitely the best play. So we'll run the toss one more time uh, because I definitely want to have a successful look. You can also motion out the fullback, which can help in some of the pass plays. But if you do that, you can see the fullback who get out to the edge a little bit and help out with the blocking a little bit faster. So that's something you can do. So I'm going to end the vid there. If you guys want to see pass plays out of this um, in, in a future video, let me know in the comments section because I definitely have a few. Uh, and that's it. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.